going to show you a trick for solving problems involving simple harmonic motion graphs. Let's say you're given a graph, it's displacement versus time, and it looks like this. And you know that the amplitude is 2 meters. You also know that the period is, let's say, 5 seconds. And you are asked, what is the acceleration at t equals 4 seconds? t equals 4 seconds. So this would be 2.5 seconds, and 4 seconds is like somewhere right there. How do you approach this problem? You're not going to be given an equation for acceleration. Here's how you approach the problem. The first thing you do is you identify is this is, is, is the displacement time graph cosine or sine in shape. This one is sine, cosine would look like this, and that's not what we have, we have sine. So once you know that you have a sine shape, write down the equation, choose which one from your data booklet, from your equation sheet, uses sine, and it's this one. You get this in the data booklet, and you choose this one rather than the cosine equation. Then you remember from memory, you recall, acceleration is negative omega squared times displacement. But you can replace displacement with the right side of this equation. And what do you get? You get omega squared times the amplitude times sine of omega t. So from here, solving for the acceleration at 4 seconds, at a time of 4 seconds, is really easy. If the period is 5 seconds, right, we got that from the graph. If the period is 5 seconds, then omega is 2 pi over over the period. And the acceleration, when you plug in a value of t equal to 4, right here, what do you get for acceleration? You get minus 2 pi over 5 squared. The amplitude we said was 2 meters. So 2 times the sine of 2 pi over 5 omega, 2 pi over 5, times the 4. And 2 pi over 5 times 4 is 8 pi. You would calculate this, making sure that your calculator is in radians, since omega is radians per second. So inside of these parentheses, we have radians per second times time, which is in seconds, or just radians. So your calculator must be in radians. You plug this in, you find your answer, and that's how you solve for the acceleration at some period in time, uh, which has been given to you in the problem. The other option, besides having a position time graph, which is sine, is your position time graph is cosine. And that means, instead of just kicking the pendulum, instead of just kicking it forward, you have now, at time equal to zero, released it from max displacement. So this scenario on the left produces a sine xt graph, a sine shape, and the one on the right where you actually let it go, release from rest, produces a cosine xt graph, cosine shape. And so let's say we have the cosine shape. And you know the value of, oops, you know the amplitude, AO, and you know the period. Therefore, you know omega, which is 2 pi over the period. You can easily solve for the acceleration at some given time, I don't know, 2 seconds, by simply looking, saying, OK, this 
is a cosine curve, so you write down the equation for x, which uses cosine. This equation is given in the data booklet. Then you recall from memory that the defining equation for simple harmonic motion is that. You take away x and you replace it with the right side of this equation, and you get xo cosine omega t. Now, if you know omega, xo, and you can plug in a value of t, you can easily solve for the acceleration or unknown.